Okay, so for this next part, we're going to be adding the indentations or kind of cracks and crevices. So for this, I'm going to make sure that I'm not clicking on any um, points. I'm just clicking on the spaces in between on the edges. So I'm dividing all of these edges um, in half. And then what I'm going to do is the same that we did with the other one, which is go from the center of that one line to the corner. And that's creating quads on each side. So the center of this new edge to the vertice on the top corner. And that has created four sides quads everywhere. So now if I press three, you can see still that everything's nice. It's a quad and I haven't had to add too much extra topology. Now, if you want, you can move these points um, to give a sharper or um, softer edge to this kind of slice. There we go. And we have all quads, which is nice. So now if we use the multi-cut tool and press control, you can see that this is creating an edge loop all the way around um, what we just created. So that's a really good sign that your topology is correct. So excellent work. So now what I can do is go in and select, I just want this interior edge and I'm going to um, just pull it down so that I can have um, the actual crack forming. And because we added the edge on the outside, it's going to give a pretty sharp um, turn here. So you can see how nice and sharp that looks. So to demonstrate one more time, I just want to do this same technique. Oh, um, so it's a little easier if you extrude now. And you can see exactly what was created. And then one more time, same technique. So in the middle of all of these edges. So not hitting any corners right now. And hit enter to select and then go from the corner to the middle hit enter, the middle to the corner, hit enter. And so that creates all of these nice edge loops. And enter, enter. And um, again, just moving these particular, this center edge down you can see what slightly different, um, well, same edge, but without the supporting edge on the outside. So it's got a more of a soft corner to it. But now if I want to add um, a supporting edge loop to give it a little more sharpness, then I would just go back here and hold down control and click. So control means an entire edge loop while you're using the multi-cut tool. Control and shift activates the edge loop, but at that stepped percentage. So that's a good thing to write down in your notes. Okay, there's one more way to create um, the edge loop, which is, or the little crevice, which is slightly simpler, I guess. Um, I'm going to add an additional edge loop around the outside here. And this time I'm going to start from a vertice point and then go outside and click halfway between um, and split these other edges. So what I'm creating right now um, is all quads on the top here. You can see that's quads, that's quads. And these are two triangles next to each other. 
So we've learned before that two triangles next to each other are super easy. Um, you just press Command and Delete, and that will delete those edges. And they will delete the, um, the points. So now we have four sides everywhere, and we have quads. So this is also a great method. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have quite the nice edge loop um, that the other method has. So I, I do find it maybe not as good as the other method, but it's a little easier. So it's up to you. And it's also up to you um, how much indentation you want. I find the, this particular method gives you um, slightly less of an indent. So that's something to consider as well. Cool, but it still looks good and still is effective. Okay, just for the sake of um, showing you everything, if you do want to add a sharper edge to this particular one, um, what you're gonna need to do is actually add an edge that goes all the way down. And I find it easier to do when you're in hard surface mode, so that's pressing the number one. And it is letting me do a complete edge on one side, but not the other. So when that happens, you have to go in with your multi-cut tool and actually hand cut, um, which takes longer and is a bit of a pain. So you can see the difference why we would want to use the other method, which has a much nicer edge loop to it. This is a little um, more of a pain in the butt but still totally doable, so it's up to you. So cut that edge and then press enter. Make sure it's actually going all the way around. There we go. So now, now when you press three, it should have some nice, there we go. Has a little bit of a sharper edge to it. Okay, so next to just keep going with this particular piece of wood, I'm gonna use my um, soft selection tool. Um, remember that you can change the radius of the soft selection. Um, one, by typing into the modeling toolkit, that little soft selection button. The other way is to press B and actually scrub your cursor, hold down your cursor from left to right sorry, right to left while holding down the B button. And that will change the um, radius of where soft selection is affecting. Um, so it's a good idea if you're creating these um, planks to have a few different you know, variations. So you could duplicate this particular plank and then just make some changes to um, the width in different places. Um, or you can just create an, the next plank um, and make sure you have some variation. Since this is stylized, um, variation is fun and interesting. Okay, so for the last thing, um, we're going to be creating a knot in wood. So I'll show you that on a separate piece. Okay, for the spiral or the knot in the wood, I'm gonna make a plane and I'm gonna make sure it has six, five width divisions, six height divisions, or you could make it six and six. Um, I just want to be able to have a few extra divisions going across so that um, when I'm adding in my spiral, I have a little more geometry in there. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So I'm going to make a multi-cut, um, hold down control, right at the center grid line. And I'm also going to move over these edges um, that are kind of close by and just move them out a little bit. 
turn off soft selection. You can turn it off by pressing B. Okay. And now with my multi-cut tool, I'm gonna make a nice spiral. So start with one cut on one side, two cuts on the other side. Then you're gonna kind of go all the way across three cuts over here and four cuts on this right side so one one two one two three one two three four hit enter now because i don't really want that um the bottom piece bottom edge to overlap and then at the very end you can either do two one, two, three, four, one, two, or you could have this two continue all the way to the other side. That would work too. Okay, so now I'm just gonna adjust some of these vertices because it doesn't really look like much of a spiral right now, um, but it will kind of in a little bit. And if we're using something like um, ZBrush, this would probably be pretty simple um, to do in ZBrush just by hand, but this is kind of a more interesting topology and um, kind of Maya experiments. Okay, and now that I have this base, I'm going to create another spiral in the middle of it. There we go. And actually continue this spiral all the way around the outside. Um, be careful at this very top edge, rather than clicking on the outside point, you're gonna be dividing that top edge in half, like this right here. There we go. And that's gonna help us keep everything as quads. And again, with this point over here, I probably could have just gone towards the edge of the um, plane and made it a little simpler, simpler for topology wise, but that's okay. So you can see there's a few n-gons with five sides and there's a couple triangles. Um, this video actually gets very, very long. So, cause we're already at 15 minutes, but um, if you were choosing to do this method and you really wanna get the topology 100% right, definitely just send it to me and I can double check your work. Um, okay, but now you can see if I hold down control and click, I can create one more little edge loop right in the middle as my spiral. And this is the part that I'm going to be um, ex moving down. Okay, and you can see at the start and the stop of this spiral that um, I actually have quads, so that's really nice. So at this point, um, I'm going to select that innermost edge that I just created and um, try and move that down. Oh, I'm also gonna try and um, just add an edge so that there's less n-gons um, in that center point. Still a triangle there, but um, that can be fixed. Okay, and then I extruded this up. Sorry, I didn't show that part. Extruded it up and then pulled that center um, edge loop down to show you what this actually looks like. And then I'm gonna add just a loop here towards the edge.
and just trying to uncover any, any vertices that look like they're um, overlapping. So I had to add a beveled edge when I extruded as well. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Sorry, I must have missed a part in my recording. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this edge um, so that we have mostly quads. There's definitely some um, end gons in here. If you are wanting to create this, then, and I totally recommend you do, just spend a little time trying to eliminate any end gons. Um, you can also ask me and I can help. I just don't want this tutorial to go on forever because it does take some time to figure out exactly where you need to make additional cuts um, like there's triangles there um, but overall the look is pretty nice all right thanks everyone